David Blaine is a freaking madman. His new ascension stunt has to be one of the craziest to date. Carried by an assortment of balloons, Blaine floated 25,000 feet in the air and then parachuted back down to Earth. But was he ever on Earth to begin with? The YouTube live stream was a smash hit. At one point, it had over 700,000 viewers. That's double Will Smith's views back in 2018. The best part about all this is David Blaine was wearing sunglasses the entire time. That's a boss move. Boss move. Boss move, it reminds me of like that uh, Sharp Dressed Man. Like he, he just comes down to the Sharp Dressed Man by ZZ Top, I don't know if you've ever heard that song, but it's like, he's just like, yeah, and he's got his sunglasses on, rides down. Oh, what's up guys? Like, yeah, I just did that. Yeah. All right, we'll be here all week, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Today marks the 10-year anniversary of one of my favorite films, Robert Rodriguez's Machete. Ibel and Happy Hour TV are proud to partner to bring you this exclusive interview with Machete himself, Mr. Danny Trejo. Here's a short clip of that interview now, but if you'd like to see the full conversation, please click the link below. Even though Machete don't text, we still got a hold of him. How did it feel for you to be portraying what is now an iconic character? It was amazing to see like, like little kids come on Halloween, coming to my house dressed as machete. You know, they had the painted money. And it was like, it was like, wow, these like, they're not Superman, they're not Batman, you know, they're they're like machete. And they were all really proud. So it, it made me, uh, I think I think Robert Rodriguez gave us a, a, a Latino superhero. And that was kind of like really, really made it. And still, like I said, people are still watching. Is this the good news we've all been waiting for? There is a vaccine on the way? The CDC has officially promoted public health officials to prepare to distribute COVID-19 vaccines as soon as late October. There are detailed distribution scenarios to ensure that people in the greatest need of the vaccine are supplied first. However, don't get too excited. None of this guarantees that the vaccine will be ready. Hopefully this heads up allows us to do a better job distributing the vaccine than we did with the testing. As far as I knew, I didn't know if there was a level of severity to COVID. Like, I didn't know like, like, whoa, you're a level five COVID and you're a level one COVID. Like, you get the vaccine like yeah. I didn't understand like I thought if you just have COVID you have COVID yeah. um, and so maybe there's just some more information that's just not out there publicly to us. We've all been living a lie. The meat of boneless chicken wings doesn't come from the wings of a chicken and a Nebraska man addressed the Lincoln City Council about this My issue. Name is Andrew Christensen. I go into nice family restaurants and I see people throwing this name around and pretending as though everything is just fine. I'm talking about boneless chicken wings. I propose that we as a city remove the, excuse me, I'm trying to, yeah, excuse me, sure. come on. He went on to clarify that boneless chicken wings already have a name, chicken tenders, and he is not wrong. And we know it because we feel it in our bones. Thank you. Thank you. Hold it down. <laughs> Somebody needs to put this man in office. I think that he needs to be on the ballot come November. <laughs> There's some good news coming out of the lab. A six month study of ALS patients showed a significant improvement using a combination of drugs called AMX35. While it's far from a cure, doctors are pushing for an expedited trial process due to their strong belief that this drug will prove beneficial to the ALS community. What's the definition of a savage? I'm a savage. No, not Megan the Stallion, this guy is. After more than a decade, 59-year-old Monte L. Gold chose to re-enlist in the Army Reserve and complete basic training. Gold originally left to spend more time with his family, but left three years too soon to be eligible for retirement benefits. And like the Jordan comeback of 95, he intends to meet eligibility. And get this, he will be serving in the same unit as his son. This guy's in incredible shape, and this story is very, like, you can do it. All right, so y'all, that's been our time. I'm with my partner here. Tanner. And it is your boy, uh, uh, Smile. And we'll see y'all guys next time. Bye. Bye.